Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, we are continuing our ongoing coverage of the Civil War inside the former state of Ethiopia and the Eatrine invasion of the northern Tigray region. But uh, first, uh, fairly significant news uh, coming out of the region, specifically southeast of the capital, Addis Ababa, also known as Fen Fene. Uh, apparently, the uh, Romo Liberation Army uh, intelligence units uh, have has uh, struck at the heart of the Abi Ahmed regime, uh, just to the southeast of Addis Ababa. You have the largest air force base uh, of Abi loyalist forces, the uh, Bishaftu Air Base, which is just south of the town of Bishaftu. Uh, this is the uh, Harar Meta Airport, and the reality it is the largest air force base inside the former state of Ethiopia. And if we kind of zoom in, and we've done this before, you can see it's a, a sprawling facility. Uh, not sure the actual date of, uh, of these uh, satellite photographs that have been taken by Google Earth, but you can clearly see SU-27s on the tarmac. You can see transport aircraft. You can see other aircraft. And uh, we, we also know that uh, Chinese-made drones also operate out of this airbase. And these are the more extended-range drones that have the ability uh, to hit targets uh, in Tigray, and they also have the ability to hit targets in western and southeastern Aromia as well. But apparently, the Aromo Liberation Army obtained intelligence information that uh, drone operators were staying at the Pyramid Hotel and Resort, this locale here. And again, it's not far from the uh, the main air base, so it's difficult to say if the drone operators were being housed or simply using it as uh, for recreational time. Uh, it, it would appear to be the latter. But uh, the Oromo Liberation Army has conducted a operation in which they launched an attack on the Pyramid Hotel and Resort, uh, killing, terminating two of these drone operators of the B Loyalist uh, Air Force. Uh, we know that uh, the area is now un back under the control of B Loyalist forces. Uh, this was a brief military operation. We know OLA units uh, of a uh, uh, undeterminate size entered the Pyramid Hotel, identified the uh, two subjects, the two drone operators, and then proceeded to uh, terminate those two drone operators. Obviously, uh, over the course of the last several days, uh, dozens and dozens of people inside of Aromia have been killed uh, due to these drone strikes that have taken place uh, in western Aromia. So very interesting to see that the Aromo Liberation Army has the capacity to attack very, very close to Addis Ababa. If they have the attack, the, the ability to hit targets uh, such as they did uh, near the Pyramid Hotel. Uh, the ability of the Aromo Liberation Army to actually go after targets inside of Addis Ababa uh, is, uh, is of absolute certainty now. So we'll continue to monitor this. This was a fairly significant event. Uh, obviously, much of the fighting has been well west of, uh, of Addis Ababa, uh, as uh, as the OLA continues to take control of towns and cities and conduct hit and run operations along the B40 and uh, B40 highway running from Mendi uh, all the way uh, e uh, east uh, all the way to Nakemte, and we actually have word today that uh, the uh, uh, the Aromo Liberation Army has uh, gone after targets east, well east of Nakimte as as well. So I guess the question is, is, is the OLA progressively trying to get closer and closer uh, to the capital of, uh, of Addis Ababa? We'll, we'll have to see how that pans out, but right now uh, the, the operations uh, by the OLA continue. Uh, the, the military operations 
both in Western Romy and then obviously uh, these uh, these new operations against some of these drone operators that just took place uh, southeast of Addis Ababa, but that near that uh, air base uh, continues. Uh, in the north, uh, in the Tigray region, it would appear that the Tigrayan Defense Forces have decided that they will not hand over their heavy weaponry or any weaponry and they will not demobilize until the Eatrian army removes itself from northern Tigray. Amharan regional militia forces and in all probability a B loyalist forces themselves remove themselves from the Tigray region. So it looks like uh, any sort of uh, demobilization efforts are simply not going to occur. Uh, we had anticipated this and had discussed this as if the Tigrayan Defense Forces were to hand over uh, its only ability to defend itself and defend the Tigray region, uh, the likelihood of uh, something uh, incredibly, incredibly serious happening uh, inside of the Tigray region in terms of, uh, of mass executions in terms of mass imprisonments uh, would absolutely occur. And uh, that is why, uh, as we speak, the Tigrayan Defense Forces are not going to lay down their arms until at which time the uh, B Loyalist Forces withdraw, the Eatrian Army withdraws. And again, this, uh, this agreement that occurred inside of South Africa uh, is, is in all probability not going to take hold. Uh, it is just something that uh, if the TDF were to follow, then it would uh, lead, uh, it would have disastrous results for the Tigray region. Maybe not immediately, but over again, as we've talked about before, over the course of the next several months, uh, you would see regime security forces uh, enter the Tigray region and start to conduct uh, mass arrests and mass purges of the Tigray region. So we will continue to monitor, we will continue to report, and bring you more information as we get it. We appreciate you joining us today. More to come. As always, have a good day.